Okay, uh, hello, hello everyone. Um, I just thought I would make this quick video to show you my, um, or well, a future development version of my Skylands Plus plugin for Bucket. Um, so as you, if you don't know, what the plugin does at the moment is search for any existing Skylands type worlds and when it finds them it adds a uh, populator to grow a load of extra trees. So as you can probably tell there are no extra trees but what I've been working on for like the last 24 hours pretty much is um, whoops, is porting the actual generator um, into my own sort of custom generator if that makes any sense. So what this basically allows for is um, well a lot less restrictions. So as you can tell there's a bit of sand there so if I just turn around it's a desert biome so there you go there's one of the massive big changes there are now biomes um, and because the world is actually not a Skylands type world there are proper mobs without having to resort to any weird workarounds so here's a cow that just spawned by itself um, also because it's not a Skylands world there is a proper day night cycle so wherever the sun is directly above me at the moment so I could do I could set the time to night and there you go it actually gets dark and I'll just undo that because it's hard to see um, there you go, some hostile mobs spawned as well, there's skelly bones there. Um, so yeah, there you go, there's one of the big things. Um, the other things still need to be added. Uh, basically I want it to work basically in the same way as the overworld, so all the, you know, like spawn percentages and, uh, well, you know, like percentages of trees should still be the same. Although obviously at the moment there are no trees because I haven't got to that yet. But yeah, like I said, this is a development version. Um, one of the other nice things about having biomes is that in the desert biomes you get lots of these fun little sand things to knock off and have fall down, which kind of highlights how laggy my ser testing server is at the moment, actually. Uh, the reason for that, by the way, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but um, I'm running it. I'm running the server on my PC locally, but the location it's saving the data to, you know, the, the disk, is actually a network drive and I've got a very bad wireless connection so <laughs> that's why it's taking quite a while to load some of the chunks off in the distance um, but yeah it's not, not nothing to do with this basically so yeah that's basically it it looks well actually I think it looks loads loads better than the standard Skylands just because of biomes biomes are one of the you know the reasons the game is so pretty as it is um, um, lag there. Um, oh dear, look at those. That doesn't look good, does it? What's going on there? So yeah, anyway, that's basically it. Um, quite a few people downloaded this, the first version. Um, I just wanted to let you know, to those people, that I am still working on it. There are a lot of very cool, very exciting, very fun changes, hopefully coming fairly soon. Um, I might release this actual version as an alpha um, and I'm also going to do another small video on how to actually, whoa, hello skeleton, on how to actually use it because it's, well, it's slightly different. Um, at the moment, oh god, zombies, at the moment, configuration, um, because I'm working on getting it to be actually, you know, like, um, basically the same as the overworld, percentage wise. But after that, once that's actually working, um, I might go and add configuration options for things like trees and all that stuff. Um, but adding trees makes it look a lot better anyway. Um, that's actually the reason I did it because, as you, well, I think I explained this before. The Skylands world itself is well, it's very, very, very ugly. <laughs> um, this texture pack I've got at the moment helps somewhat because um, everything's nice and bright. But normally, um, yeah, everything's a bit crap. Uh, oh, also one more thing: weather works as well. So I could just make a storm. Starmy. There we go, and it should start raining. There you go, and well, my. Come on, weather. <laughs> it does work, honestly. Um, this is basically what happened in the old Skylands. It just got dark, um, and the rain didn't actually show up. But I think that's a bit of a bug. Oh, there you go. There's some rain. It's, just, it's not in these chunks over here. It's just actually it's just in that. I don't know what's going on there, but well, it works normally. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the progress I've made, and look out for further updates. Um, I've no idea how I've been talking, because my counter thing has bugged out.
Oh, look at it go. I could do that all day. <laughs> In fact, I might add, I might tweak it so that it generates more of these overhangs. <laughs> um, no, that's a bad idea, isn't it? Because of servers. But I think this is quite a big one here. Let me just get rid of this weather. How much? Oh, there's loads of sandstone. That's no fun. Well, there we go. Hmm. So yeah, that's basically that. Oh, there is one more thing that isn't actually possible to do. Um, standard Skylands Worlds has caves. This can't have caves, just because of the way that it works internally, the cave generator. There's no way to call it. unless Well, unless you know of a way, please let me know, because I'd like to have caves. Um, but I thought it was sort of an you know, okay trade-off to um, get rid of caves which nobody really used in Skyland and replace it with all this cool stuff like biomes biomes is such an obvious thing um, I suppose that's the actual reason that this is it's become a little bit necessary because you, know, you probably know that uh, version 1.9 of the game will not have uh, Skyland at all it's been replaced with the end dimension uh, which is a lot less fun to be honest it's a bit dark it's a lot less pretty so yeah there you go there's my motivation um, and that's basically that. So, thanks for downloading it, and hopefully you're looking forward to future updates and all that good stuff. And I'll just be, I'll still be here, breaking the, <laughs> making these ledges fall when you, uh, yeah. Oh, another nice sort of thing is that, sort of more or less, or in a kind of roundabout way, it's one biome per island. This obviously hasn't worked here. In fact, it looks a little bit buggy there. I might need to... I mean, that looks like a chunk boundary, doesn't it? Is that a chunk? Hmm, well, I'll look into that later. Um, anyway, that's pretty much that. I've said that about eight times so far. So, yeah. There you go. That's what I've been doing, and that's the progress I've made. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Goodbye.